Hi, uh, this is a small demonstration of how CLJ Reload works. So I have Humble UI already set up to use it. You can see in username space we require CLJ Reload.core, right? Uh, we initialize it when our application starts. And then as we go along, like we call this function, it's wrapped with some reporting, but it's mainly does this. So that's it. Okay, so in initialization, we uh, specify directories that we want to scan. So it's basically all the directories that contain our, like, the code we care about in our current project, right? And we also specify namespaces that we don't want to, to change, uh, to reload, because uh, like they contain stuff that we want to keep between reloads, like, like state or window reference and stuff like that. Okay, so let me start uh, REPL. Okay, so we started Humble application. Uh, this is demo application. So this is the window. This is standard output slash Apple. All right, let me connect to it. And the first thing we're going to try is to actually go to like empty buffer and try to reload. And you can see it reports nothing to reload because we didn't change anything yet. So nothing happened, nothing was changed or touched or whatever. You can call it multiple times. The result will be the same, right? Now let's go to label.clg. This is um, a file that basically builds this UI on the right, right? And uh, we have a label static here. So if I change it to one, two, three, well then like you see it, it shows that file is not saved. We save it, right? Go back here, eval reload uh, slash reload. And this is what you see. So you see that namespace examples was unloaded first then namespace examples.label was unloaded. This is the namespace that we edited, right? Then uh, it was loaded back again, so with the, but with the new code this time. And then examples that depends on it was also like reloaded, right? If we do it again, we again see nothing to reload because we already re reloaded once, right? You also can see as we do this, or like let's do four, five, six, reload, uh, the UI here updates is instantly. So it, it's not on, does, does it not only update the code uh, here or reloads it, it also propagates all the states, like, or like all these intricate dependencies, where like object depends on object, depends on object, right? Uh, all the stateful uh, mess that uh, user interfaces, in our case, uh, field with, uh, it propagates it properly up to the very top, and that's why just changing code here actually updates the entire UI. The second feature I want to show you is like if we click here, we actually change state, like we change which uh, screen is selected, right? And if we reload here, you see that this doesn't change. So that means that even though we're reloading some code, uh, the code that like remembers the state stays the same. This is uh, defined in examples.state and we exclude it from reload. So nothing will uh, trouble it, right? Uh, if you go deeper, for example, like in uh, UI.clj, you can see that uh, this file actually, like lots of other files, like every example basically depends on it. So you can see like a lot of namespaces gets unloaded and then loaded back again. If you go to label.clg, this is a label implementation, right? So this is, um, help me change it like this. This is like what actually draws the labels, the component itself, right? And if you, for example, change this, you see everything like offsets, right? So again, uh, every component that depends on label implementation, this is like all of them, it's not just this example, right? Like it's all, all uh, every place where can this, this stuff is used. Uh, we can see it uh, like in life in here, right? So you change the basic, very basic implementation, it correctly propagates over the, your entire code base. And the, the deeper the, your namespace you're changing is, the more it will like load and unload, but it's it's a good thing. It does, uh, it does the right thing by default, right? So uh, this is basically how I use it, uh, directories and no reload uh, some namespaces. And it works very well, and I totally recommend. Uh, this is a smarter way to reload your namespaces. I hope you like it. I hope you can enjoy it as well. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.